Hello everyone, today we are going to build an application where we convert widgets to images and therefore I have created here this application already. So we have here two widgets and if we press here on this button then they should be converted to images and be displayed here under this description. So we have here two widgets and we want to convert these two widgets to images every time we press here on this capture button. So let's get started. So first of all I go here inside and create a new widget. So I create a new file which I call widget to image and then I create here a stateful widget and I name it widget to image, make all the imports and here inside we want to make use of a widget which is called repaint boundary and this is something which we wrap around our widget here. So I will put here widget.builder inside and I will create here this builder global key key builder and let's create also this constructor and now we need to pass here a global key inside of this builder and therefore we create here in our state a global key first so let's create here a global key and we put this global key here inside of our builder and the thing is we also need this global key for our repaint boundary and yeah, this is the setup which we need because we later want with this global key to get the boundaries of our widget and then to capture an image of it. And therefore we set up this widget here. So let's use this. So we need to wrap all of our widgets which we want to capture around this widget to image. So let's go to our main. And here I have this card widget where we have the title and description one. And I have also second one, title two and description two. So I just go here and wrap this with this widget to image and I also do it for the second one and then I need to import this and instead of a child we have here a builder so we get here the global key so we get the global key back and the second works the same so we have it like this and what we do now is we build first of all this card widget and we also want to get the key to our state so I will write here first of all global key key one so this is the key which we use for the first widget and we also create a second key for the second widget and here in our builder i will just make it to a block body so that we can put this key which we get from this widget to image into our state so that it is here saved and we also do this for the second one and now we have this widget to image every time wrapped and we have here inside key one and key two and uh, both of them are be saved here at the top. So this is the setup and now we need to take care that this widget is captured and what we do here is we go to our button. So here's our race button with the text capture and here inside of this unpressed we want to execute something and I will just create a util so we make it more structured so I create here a new file where we want to put the logic inside of this capturing and here inside we create then this method capture and this gets the global key so now you know why we created this global key because we need this global key to get the render boundary of this widget and then to capture it so let's just import it here and yeah, let's first of all say here if the key is null, then we want to return also null. So in the case that the widget is not existing yet, then we return here null. And now what we need to do is to get from the key the current context. And here we have this method which is called find render object. So we want to find the render object of our widget and this returns here a render repaint boundary. I will save it here to boundary and I need to write it correctly. And we import here this rendering library. And now we got the uh, render object and from this render object we can then create an image. So basically we write here boundary to image. Then we can select here pixel ratio. So I take here three. And now we have here this image. So I store it in a new variable. And now that we have this image we need to convert them to byte data. So I will skip this step here. So I just put here 
the code inside. So basically what we are doing here is we convert them to byte data and to a PNG format and then we get the byte as PNG bytes. I also need to import here for this the library UI, dart UI as UI. So I re just return the PNG bytes and yeah that's it what we need to do. So we need simply to call this capture method from our capture button. So here inside I simply import this utils and then we capture it with our key. So we need to put here our key one inside for example for this first widget and then await it. So we get here the bytes back of this image which we have captured and we also can do the same procedure for the second one. So here's the key two and here are the bytes two. And the last thing what we need to do is we need to show them. So basically we will store them first of all in our state. So this bytes dot one bytes one and we also do this here for the second bytes so we store them here at the top so we put them into this uint 8 list and import them and now what we only need to do is to show them so we go here under our images and create build image method and here we put first of all the bytes one inside and also the second time we put the build bytes to inside and yeah let's create this method so this is pretty easy and here what we are doing is we want to show the image so we first of all check if the bytes are not null and if that's the case then we want to show like an image in the memory so we put here the bytes inside of this widget and if we have no bytes then we want to simply con return a container that's it i guess so let's hot restart this application and now if we press here on this capture button, then the images will be created from this widget. So this widget here will be converted to an image and this will be here displayed. And also the second one, this widget will be displayed here also as an image. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.